Hi, this is Brian Lazar with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. I want to start by showing our homepage map. Now keep in mind, this is on Wednesday, February 23rd, and you can see we've got over half of the mountainous areas in Colorado are in an avalanche warning. Even in the places where we do not have an avalanche warning, we still have dangerous avalanche conditions. And let me show you why. So we're in the midst of a very potent winter storm. This is the biggest storm system we have seen since the New Year's storm. And so subsequently, these are the most widespread dangerous avalanche conditions since the very end of December and into very early January. And the reason why is prior to these big storm events that are we're in the midst of right now, we had very weak snow surfaces. This image illustrates the, how weak our snow surfaces were. They were so weak that all the uh, weak snow near the surface was producing sloughs. So that's about a foot of very weak snow. And now we are adding a very substantial load on top of the pre-existing snow surface. So just how much of a load have we added to those old weak snow surfaces? This illustration, which is a model run of uh, the WRF two kilometer high resolution um, model is gonna show you snow accumulation starting on uh, Wednesday morning and through Thursday. And you can see here that we picked up anywhere from one to almost to over three feet of snow in uh, the deepest snowpack areas. The places that got the most snow are down in the San Juan Mountains and in the western portion of the Central Mountains, which includes the far western regions of the Elk Range in the Aspen and the Gunnison Zones and even over to Grand Mesa. So if we look here at avalanche activity that's taken place just at the very onset of this storm, so this is just from you know the very beginning of Wednesday and into Thursday, you can see we're already at dozens of avalanches. You can expect natural avalanche activity to continue into and through Thursday, and then dangerous avalanche conditions are gonna persist as we move into the weekend. So snowfall starts to taper off Thursday afternoon, but danger avalanches are gonna continue. You're gonna see some areas that are gonna remain in the warning all through Thursday. But keep in mind, even those forecast zones that dropped out of the warning and in considerable danger are gonna have many slopes that are ripe for human triggering. So expect natural avalanche activity to slowly taper off as we move into Friday and through the weekend, but it's gonna be very easy for you to trigger avalanches big enough to bury or kill you. Okay, so we are experiencing now the most widespread dangerous avalanche conditions that we've seen since the New Year's storm event and avalanche cycle. We've got a lot of the state is in an avalanche warning or high danger. Backcountry travel is not recommended in areas with high danger. And you can expect high danger to linger through Thursday for at least some portion of the state even in places that did not reach avalanche warning criteria and only sit at level three of five or considerable avalanche danger are still dangerous. It just means that natural avalanche activity is a little less likely in the places that didn't pick up more than about a foot of storm snow, but many slopes are still primed for human triggering. So it's going to be very easy for you to trigger an avalanche. And these are going to be bigger avalanches than what we've seen in many weeks, just because now we're adding volume to the snowpack. All right, so although avalanche danger is going to ease off and get a little bit better as we move through the weekend and into early next week, and we really have to change our mindset on how we're approaching the terrain. We had a really good long run of pretty stable avalanche conditions for a while. It is great to see a return of ample snowfall. With that return comes an increase in avalanche hazard. So we have to really start making conservative terrain choices um, as we move through the weekend and into early next week. Um, this has been your weekly avalanche outlook. Please stay safe out there and stay up to date on current conditions by getting your forecast at colorado.gov avalanche or on the CAIC mobile app. We'll see you here next week.